What's up guys, Gamer Jan here playing Clash Royale and today I want to go over the Dragon Hunt Challenge. Really new uh, fun game mode that Clash Royale just came out with. Um, don't know if it's going to be permanent or not but I mean it's pretty cool, uh, pretty fun and obviously you win a bunch of rewards. You get some uh, baby dragons, some electro dragons. Um, the 12 win reward is uh, legendary, the infernal dragon. And then you get 5,000 gold at 11 wins. But the number one thing you want to do is get to 10 wins. And at 10 wins, you get the uh, baby dragon coming out with like an Easter egg emote. So it's going to be cool, an exclusive emote. I'm sure it'll be legendary, like uh, the ram and uh, the pig and the coins. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be legendary eventually. So it's really cool. You want to get that prize. So I got to 10 wins. Um, and I didn't use anything special, guys. I used this golem deck. Um, you know, I'm a big golem user and I found myself using a lot of different decks trying different things I'm um, going to two in all in on the um, The little capsule in the middle of the map and I realized just playing a slow deck with a golem um, Worked really really well for me even against Pekka's I did work So I'm gonna go over uh, my last two wins with it um, And this is my first guys my first try guys in the challenge. That's why I'm 10 and 2. I promise you it's my first try um, I think you might be able to see all my wins. There's my one of my losses, um, and then those are all my wins. And I think I lost yeah, using a different deck, um, but with the golem one, I was just slaughtering guys. So let's go over my last two wins um, real quick, and then we'll do live battles. So hopefully, get to 12. Um, and I wasn't too worried about getting to 12 wins, guys, because I want to get to uh, I wanted to get to 10, get the emo. That's more important. Um, so uh, using this deck, guys, I only look for the capsule off the start if I had the mini pack in hand. So basically, any other uh, card in hand, I didn't even bother with it. So it's a little something to let you guys know. Um, right off the bat, um, we did okay, I guess, considering that we did get the capsule. Um, we did get a nice little elixir deed. Um, which is why I decided to play the golem. Don't just play the golem at any moment. Um, play when you have the elixir uh, advantage. Um, and I also knew that the capsule would be coming pretty soon. Which is why I dropped the golem. And now with the night witch behind it. See there's a capsule. And I'll start getting a couple hits off with the bats. They drop a baby dragon themselves. Um, but the bats are a lot stronger. Plus my baby dragon. And we're able to... Um, Beat this capsule now is when things get interesting because now we have an electro dragon we have the night witch we have the bats and um, the pekka oh the lightning did do us uh, do a number on us right there um took us down uh, really really bad but i mean we took out 1400 damage on the tower we got it down to 1400 at least so um we're still looking pretty good we have a full level uh, mini pekka full health mini pekka they drop a mega minion for defense. And my mini P.E.K.K.A is still able to get one hit off. And now we're at the castle. Let's see, right here, I didn't really have anything to do as far as trying to get the capsule. So I just said I'll just slow play, um, put a golem in the back. I'll eat the damage right here with the mini P.E.K.K.A because I know I can have a huge counter push off of it. The mini P.E.K.K.A doesn't even finish off my tower. I have the night which I know the capsule should be coming uh, if you guys are wondering yeah the capsule is every 30 seconds so um, try to time it that way because it'll be uh, it'll just work out perfectly so right here look I have the baby dragon I have the night witch um, they went in with a barbarian barrel for some odd reason and then right here I've dropped a mini P.E.K.K.A onto the capsule because I know I can take it out um, and then right here is where we're just doing work so we took out the tower right there we have the baby dragon we have the mega minion and then I just went ahead and dropped the golem in the middle. Their lining didn't really do too well. And then once it's at this point, it's definitely GG. Um, mini Pekka on the King Tower. I got two baby dragons. I have a golem. I have a knight. Um, we're basically tied in elixir, but I have all this on the field. Um, so it's going to be, I'm just going to fast forward. It's going to be GG. Good game, well played. And we're able to get a three crown out of it. So, um, pretty easy win against a Pekka deck. We did really really well against it so let's go to this one this one was a little bit trickier um, because of uh, the defenses they had and stuff like that and I'm pretty sure in this one they got the capsule a lot more than I did so right here I had nothing to start off with literally nothing three spells and a golem so I decided I could have poisoned the magic archer but I decided just to go with a golem in the back um, and then right here um, again 
Um, just have to wait for them to attack me and play the counter. So they got an Inferno Dragon. Probably the one dragon I didn't want them to get. Also, I dropped the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Somehow the Inferno Dragon locked onto the Mini P.E.K.K.A. I don't understand. Um, but either way, um, on this first initial push, we really, really, really got wrecked. Um, in the sense that we got wrecked in the sense that um, we didn't do much damage. But I don't think we take too much damage here. I dropped a super, super well-valued poison. Um, the bandit does get to the tower. Um, right there, that capsule um, spawns. And I'm pretty sure I'm able to win it with the Night Witch unless something happens. Um, yeah, so I do win it with the Night Witch, but they dropped an Infernal Dragon for uh, whatever comes out of it, which comes out in Infernal Dragon. Um, but they're able to win that. That zap was actually really good in the sense that it got my uh, retargeted my baby dragon. So um, right now it's not looking too good for us. Like we're really not doing too well. Um, that Infernal Dragon's really uh, kicking our butt. But I know with a Golem and a Night Witch, you know, I can basically eliminate the Infernal Dragon um, because of all the bats. Sorry about that. Um, so right here, again, they're putting pressure on me um, to take the capsule. And um, I just go ahead and put a Golem in the back again. Let them take, I'll take the damage, I'll eat the damage. Um, you're with the golem deck guys, you're gonna have to eat damage. If you don't eat damage, you're not playing golem correctly. So right now, look at this push that we got going here. We have the Nine Witch, the Mega Minion, the Baby Dragon. They're going with the Inferno Dragon. I go ahead and use a Zapper. That resets the Inferno Dragon. Inferno Dragon goes down. I put the poison for the Electro Wizard. Golem is getting on the tower. We're just getting an extreme amount of damage right now, like huge. Down to 324. Down to 66 and done. Now we have 30 seconds left. I'm able to bring out the Electro Wizard. I just throw a Night Witch in there. What the heck? Just causing chaos. Go Golem in the back um, because I'm basically at this point knowing that I really can't hold that tower on the left if they want to go full throttle for it. So I just basically give it up, let them go uh, really strong on that side, and then I'll just concentrate on pushing on this side. That's exactly what I do. Right there, I go Mini P.E.K.K.A. Right here, I'm going to go with the Zap, and that resets the Infernal Dragon. And then once this happens, it's uh, pretty much GG, because look at this. The capsule shows up again. I'm able to drop another Baby Dragon. Um, Mini P.E.K.K.A. I think gets onto the tower there. gets killed. Now I have an Infernal Tower. Infernal Dragon. Drop the Poison. Get all that value. Double Baby Dragon. Tornado them all into the middle. And that's going to be GG. So, right there was a nice just use of... Uh, defense with the golem deck having patience against an infernal dragon which isn't easy um, and we were able to pull off the win so let's go right into some live battles hopefully we can get off an uh, 11 to 12 win and if not um, hopefully I helped you guys at least get the emo okay so right off the bat we have the mini P.E.K.K.A so I'm gonna go for the capsule um, because that's what I do every time I drop get the mini P.E.K.K.A um, and I'm hoping right here for a baby dra oh, infernal dragon isn't too bad um, I think we're going to do a pretty decent number on it. And, uh, okay, so pretty decent hits. So I'm going to use a zap. Definitely going to use a zap. And that should take out the prince. And then the musketeer is going to go down here as well. Um, so pretty successful, you know, capsule capture, I guess you would say. Um, and then I'm going to go, now that they dropped the prince, they dropped the musketeer. That's going to be their big hitters for getting my golem deck. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna eat this damage. I really have no option at this point. The lumberjack, anything, but I mean, I doubt it goes inferno, inferno. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go here, and um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that lumberjack damage. It could be a horrible decision, um, but I mean, at this point, I'm too invested, so I have no other choice. Right here, um, I'm gonna go ahead with a zap. That should reset everything. Oh, and the Mega Minion is going to survive just enough, and that should be, unless he has a spell, okay, so he did have a spell, so that it wasn't the end of the tower. Um, so obviously they have a nice lead. He's probably going to drop a Prince here. I think the Night Witch with the Bats will win this battle. Yeah, so uh, he's not going to even try. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a Poison. Okay, Inferno Dragon, okay. Um, the Poison plus Inferno Dragon is going to take out the Wizard. I'm able to tank with the Night Witch and the Bats, 
I can take out the musket. Oh, okay. Beautiful. So Inferno Dragon did beautiful on that one push. Um, did really, really well. So I'm going to go Golem in the back. Um, they're probably going to go Lumberjack. This time I will not eat the damage. I'm definitely going to go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. if they go Lumberjack on that side. And they're going with the Prince a little bit early on. Oh, and if he... if Okay, there he goes. So he goes for it. But look how look how much um, he went for. He went for a lot. Um, I have the tornado, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, and I get the wizard in there as well. Look at that zap! Oh my god, that was a really really nice move right there. Gonna drop a poison. That'll just wreck all of that. I'm not gonna take him out on this tower, but the most here everyone's going down right there. I'm gonna drop a mega minion back here. I'm already getting ready for that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to let him eat me. Oh, I missed. Oh, get over here. Oh, I totally missed, guys. That's going to be GG. Yeah, I missed. Wow. That that was extremely, extremely unfortunate. I definitely should have beat this guy. And I'm kind of heated right now that I missed that. Like, I'm really, really annoyed that I missed that. Because if that golem draws in that lumberjack, draws in that minion, it's so much GG. It's not even funny. And guys, um, yeah, I'm going to end it there. I made one little mistake there, but I know that um, I could beat this guy. I had him the whole way uh, playing it slow. My plan was working perfectly. Should have won that. Um, but, oh man, you know what, guys? I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue for the 50 gems. Let's go ahead and get the 11th win. And um, let's go ahead and battle this. <clears throat> so right off the bat... Okay, I'm gonna go with the zap. He's gonna obviously take out the tower, but I'll zap the bats anyways. And then I'm gonna go right here. Let's go right here. And then mini P.E.K.K.A against mini P.E.K.K.A. I should win here. I'm sorry about that loss, guys. I get, I'm really annoyed. That should have been a dub. <clears throat> and I'm gonna hold that this wizard crosses the tower, um, crosses the bridge before. Um, yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted. Okay. So I'm going to play it slow and they're going to go full throttle for the capsule once again and I'm going to let them take it. Okay, so this is beautiful. They're going with a Mega Knight that's way too strong. Um, we're going to slaughter him here. Unless it's an Infernal Dragon. If it's an Infernal Dragon, we're in trouble. Anything else and we're good to go. I'm hoping for a baby dragon. Okay, Electro Dragon. That's not terrible. I'll go here with a Zap. I'll go right here. And... Um, the golem's gonna go down with the mini P.E.K.K.A. but we're not taking any damage the bat go down and we are gonna get um, no hits off on the towers so they're just playing very defensive um, which is there's no problem with that let's go right here with the mini P.E.K.K.A. that should take out the wizard and go for the capsule and we're gonna be able to capture that um, so let's see if we can get a nice push off using. Okay, so this is a really, really nice push. More than likely going Mega Knight. I mean, I would. Okay, so they went with a. That wasn't too smart. And now is when I can play it slow for real. We're gonna get a bunch of hits off. Um, <clears throat> and then they're gonna drop back. Perfect. Just more elixir wasted. And this is the slow pushes that gets you the nice win. We have the Night Witch, the Golem, waiting for the capsule. We're gonna drop a poison right here. There you go, gonna drop my Mega Minion. Use a zap right here. And look at the comeback on the capsule too. They had the lead, they almost had it out. Um, but that's gonna be that's gonna be it for sure. Cause there goes the Skarmy. And then what I'm gonna do is the second that goes down, it should go down. Yeah there it goes. And then I'll just put Golem right here. So if he tries to get the capsule again, it's just the Golem just going to eat it. Any of the damage that he would like. Um, let's go right here with the Mega Minion. And then let's go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. Oh, okay, perfect. And then right here, we'll go here. Let's go with the Zap. And that's going to be GG, guys. Good game. Well played. Match over, so... That was a showing of how to use this deck. Amazingly, I did it last game, but I just messed up. And, um, I mean, this video is extremely long already. 
But let's go ahead and go for a uh, 12th win because why not? This video is already extremely long anyways. So let's go ahead and do it anyways. Okay, no mini P.E.K.K.A means I'm not going for the capsule. I'm going to sit back and see how this goes. Obviously this person's a 10th winner already. I'm going to go ahead with the gold and put it in the back. And they're going to go with the Sparky. This is very interesting. I faced, I think, one Sparky deck earlier and I just demolished him. But this Sparky player might be a little bit different. Um, let's go here. Go for the capsule. Okay, won't even go for the capsule. That's extremely funny. Um, we're going to zap right there. Oh, I missed the zap. I mean, I'm going to get the capsule. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Um, but I'm definitely getting it. Oh wait, I didn't even get the capsule. Oh my god, that was tragic. Wow, that Sparky got the combo on the golem. Oh my god, what a move on his part. Kind of luck, but I mean, whatever. So, let's see. Because of the Sparky, we need to be careful with the golem because it'll get the capsule. Plus, it'll get my golem at the same time. They're going to go for the capsule once more. Yeah, that was perfect timing on his part, so they're really well uh, positioned to, to beat me here. Let's go with the Night Witch. And then we're going to go with the Mega Mini. Let's go with this right here. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be a pretty tricky to, to win this match. Sparkies are never something you want to see with as a golem player, like ever, 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 ever. Go the zap there. Um, Sparky's gonna go down with no more hits off. Musketeer, I think, is gonna go down. Yeah, it's gonna go down as well. There's our first capsule. Oh, we're not even gonna capture it unless I do this. It's a little too much effort or whatever. Bring the mini P.E.K.K.A. all the way out there. Oh, and uh, okay. That's exactly what I needed though. He used a fireball, um, used a P.E.K.K.A. Now we can get a push off for the, I don't know, 100th time trying to get my golem to the tower. And I feel like he has a weird cycle going. Yeah, he does have a weird cycle going. So we're going to be able to take advantage of the Sparky that's in a weird cycle. Wow, and I totally thought those Spear Goblins would be targeting the golem, but whatever. So right here, let's go with the Zap. Good timing on the Zap. Finally got a good timing on it. Golem is gonna do work here. I'm gonna get the yeah. So I got the tower, capture it again. Right here, the baby dragon is gonna take out the Sparky, and then I'm gonna rush with the golem all the way up here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rush with the mega minion, and then about three, two, one. Use the zap. So that means yeah. Oh, so we're doing really good right now really good pushing really good I don't care that's gonna be GG guys good game well played so really really good with the golem we got the capsule we needed to we got the elixir trades that we needed to and we were able to pull off the 12 wins so obviously it's gonna be a little deceiving I did not go 12 and 0 if you skip to the ending of this video um, I actually lost and rebought one time and that's how I got to 12 and 0 but let's go ahead and get the Infernal Dragon. And that's going to be it for my video, guys. This is the deck that I used. Um, I would pretty much stick to it. It's It works pretty well for me. Hopefully, you get the emote out of it. Um, but that's going to be it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it ran long, but hopefully, you still stuck with me the whole time. Don't forget to check out my other videos and the great content. And I'll see you in the next one.